So we've got to start thinking about a pathway to victory here. I did notice that, unfortunately, because, you know, one way to pick up easy votes is to make sure that the world religion is your dominant religion. I don't think we're going to see a dominant religion in this game. So yeah, that's going to be kind of an issue, and we don't have a dominant religion. I can probably... I don't know, I can probably force a dominant religion. The problem is that we're sandwiched in between two holy cities. One from Constantinople, and the other is... where oh, Holy city, yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, so the other one was from the Celts, right? Celts got destroyed. So, that's not good. I mean, our empire is sandwiched. So we've got three cities that are following Catholicism, two cities uh, following Sikh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It'd be really nice to get those votes to have the uh, world religion. But, you know, the extra world religion for two delegates. However, there's just, it's it's very unlikely. Uh, religion overview. We, there's, I don't think anyone's really going to come out on top here. We've got 30 from Protestantism, which, you know, Iroquois in North America, you know all the North American civs are going to uh, downvote any sort of attempt, whether it's for Sikh or Catholicism. I, I don't know. And then you have Africa. I just think it's really hard on these world maps when you have so many cities and you have, you know, all of these world religions. You have all these religions around the world, I guess I should say. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get those two extra two extra delegates. So I don't know. That that's not that's not too good. That's not too good. I have been looking at the requirements. Uh it's about 39. You need about 39 to win. Not about. It for sure 39. It will go down when I take away somebody from Southeast Asia, which uh, here is my great merchant. Now, I, I probably shouldn't. Like I've said in the past, I probably should not be trying to uh, annex a city-state. It's, 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 not, it's not the best of ideas. It's not the best plan I've ever had in the world. Uh, but for the sake of this campaign, I just want to do cool things. I want to make sure that we're, you know, trying something new. I want to, you know, have a fun kind of... Uh, global empire, I guess you could say, without, especially if we do it as Venice, without going to war at all, you know, we actually just, you know, we, we annex city-states, that's awesome, that's really cool, if we can, if we can say that we did that, so I'd like to try that, oh my gosh, Austria and Poland going at it, um, okay, you're friendly with us, um, that's kind of a big deal, especially because Salzburg is not defended by, no one's defending Salzburg, hmm, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so I've got a cargo ship in Panama. This, I think, is a new cargo sh cargo ship. We weren't going anywhere before, right? So, uh, one thing I need to keep in mind are the policies, the freedom policies that I've adopted. Also, I've extended my trade routes, so there's just so many opportunities. Uh, extended my sea range trade routes. So, there's so many opportunities right now. I could, I could go for Hong Kong. I want to... I, what I was getting at was my freedom policy, uh, my freedom tenant, which allows me to get to gain influence with city states that uh, that I have a cargo ship with or a trade route with. I mean, I guess I should just go for the twenty here in Hong Kong. The problem is that I don't know if I'm going to take Kuala Lumpur or Hong Kong. One, one, I mean, they're both about the same size overall. Going to lose about the same happiness. I was leaning towards Hong Kong since they have truffles. Extra luxury is nice, and I have no idea. I mean, they might have even more luxury resources out this way. Um, maybe we shouldn't even decide. Let's just go to Budapest, because I, I really don't think... I think I already have a trade route to Budapest, don't I? That is a crazy trade route going all the way to the Mediterranean. And that kind of defeats the purpose of Panama City. I, I, I meant to go to Panama City because I didn't want to... We're already trading with... We're already trading with Budapest. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes and, ah, oh man, that sucks. 15 gold per turn, but we'll do it. Because I think I'm going to take over Hong Kong instead. Although, you know, a lot of time would have gone by, but by the time we over, we actually get there, the trade route was going to be almost over. But it's fine. It's fine. Time, it, actually, that doesn't matter because we would have wasted influence sending it to a city-state that I would have annexed anyways. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Okay, uh, you're going to stay there. We're about to get railroads, which means that the workers need to be ready. Are our workers ready? I I actually don't know. We've got a few workers here and there. Still have not upgraded. Jeez, I've got just too many units. Too many units. Okay, we're, so we're, we're working something over this way. I do see that I have a worker there. Well, I'll just go into the unit li uh, list. It's not a big deal. I think I only have two, though. Only two workers. That's not too good. I'm also considering no longer sending food to Venice. Um, at this point... I, I know that there are a few people in the comment section that want me to just scrap the uh, 
scrap the caravans and do all cargo ships, which is a good idea, I think. I mean, I know that obviously the cargo ships are going to be bringing a lot more benefit back to the Empire, uh, but I mean, I, I liked the idea of having a big, a big capital city. It's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, London is not too far away from us in terms of population with 28. Warsaw is down to 25. They might slow down, though, especially if they take over an Austrian city or two. No, there's, I, I seriously doubt they take over Vienna. Although Austria is really far behind in technology, so who knows. Killed an Ottoman spy. All right, that's good. Um, I'm going to tell him that we have decided... No, uh, I'm going to... Oh, oh, whoa. I don't know if I want to declare war on him. That is pretty annoying. Although I could have. I could have. Okay, one more turn before we use this great scientist. And I'll just let it roll over. I'm going to let some of the, the, the beakers roll over because there's there's no point in... I mean, I I like... there's I, We could do it any way. We, you could do it any way you want. If you like to hold on to your great scientist, it doesn't matter because the yield is going to go up over time. If you like to use your great scientist right away, it doesn't matter. Um... I guess if you're trying to race for like a city-state mission, if there's a city-state that asks, you know, for you to discover the most technologies in the, in the given 30 turns or whatever, uh, then I think it would be a good idea to probably use that great scientist some somewhere in into the inside of that 30 turns. Uh, I'm not gonna forgive you though, but um, but for the most part, it doesn't doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna use it after we discover railroads and uh, and we're gonna get we're gonna get hyped. We're gonna get hyped. We're gonna booty grab them railroads all around the empire. Let's let's see. Wait a second. Where are my where's my unit list at? I really hope I only I hope I ho have more than. We've got a worker where. Uh, I hope I have. Okay, we've got one there, so we do have three. So railroad. Um. Where is this guy at? There. Okay, there's the other one. We should probably be focused on like finishing a railroad as quickly as possible. I mean, I guess we'll go to Zurich for now. I guess you're gonna stay inside. L luckily, we're allied to Jerusalem. I don't know how for how much longer. I do not know for how much how much longer though. All right, so let's let's get the let's get the railroad between Vel Venice and Belgrade as quickly as possible. And what about this last one? Oh, there is one more. Okay, good. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and help them out here. Let's let's build the railroads on, on top of the dies. We're going to see, obviously, our economy start to drop a little bit, which is okay. Um, okay, and then we're also going to discover a technology, but let's... Uh, either way, I have to get flight. If I just get combustion, then I'm going to have to wait to get flight either way. So I guess I might as well get flight. You know, maybe get some triplanes or some great war bombers. We'll discover that. Boom. And then we'll have some of those beakers carry over into whatever else. Wow. Everything else is now 3-3 three, three and... Oh, yeah, all three turns. Nice. Battleships would be good. You know, obviously, with my Venetian Empire, I need to have a strong navy. Without a strong navy, things are not going to go so well. I won't be able to protect my vast and sprawling empire. Um, extending of... Oh, that's land trade routes. Never mind. Well, uh, we don't really care about that too much. I guess electronics, that way we get access to atomic theory. And we, remember, we want to stay on the top part of the, uh, on the a top part of the tech tree because we want globalization. Gain one additional delegate in the World Congress for every spy as a diplomat. So we definitely want globalization. So let's go ahead and go for electronics in three turns. And then maybe we'll, we will rush atomic theory. Uh, Venice has completed the museum. I wouldn't mind grabbing... I don't think we need any units. Oh, oh, we have two extra. Oh my gosh, we've got two extra slots. Okay, so this is one turn, two extra trade route slots. I mean, yeah, let's grab a let's grab a cargo ship for sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these units. I mean, I guess I could start to just have them sit and embark off the coast of Sidon. That's that's also a, a possibility. Wow. All right. So the British are doing really amazing against. Uh, is it Utrecht up here? Yeah, Utrecht up here against Sweden. Nobody else we can move yet? No, nobody else. Okay, but uh, nonetheless, we'll be able to upgrade those boats, which will protect us from England. I know that I've been kind of, you know, bashing on the Huns, kind of talking about, oh, yeah, I want to take on the Huns. I want to take on the Huns. The Huns are pretty far away from me, and you guys pointed that out. Uh, a bigger enemy to be fearful of would definitely be England. I mean, they're at, you know, what, six cities right now, at least, unless they have a colony somewhere. I don't know if I made a comment about Philadelphia being in Iberia, but that's interesting. Uh, either way, I think that England is kind of a bigger threat 
uh, obviously a much bigger threat, and I need to keep that in mind. Um, no, I'm not revoking anything. No influence. I'm glad that I read that because I almost just clicked again. Drew, you crack lord, you just you can't mess this up. We're close. We're close to a victory. I mean, not really. I think that I might have been a, a little bit hopeful with my wish wishes of a diplomatic victory before turn 300. That's not going to happen. The Iroquois have adopted freedom. That's great. That's very good. So, yeah, I think that we should have a very... Uh, a, a very kind of dominant role as freedom being like the world's, I mean, because it's already voted in the world's Congress. I mean, that helps out tremendously to have that already the world's ideology, but because there are just so many civs and because they're really on, on the scope of things, there hasn't been that much war. And that's pretty much because I haven't taken over the world. I've chosen to play peaceful. Uh, I think this is what the AI tends to do. There's a lot of smaller AIs in the game because no one has gobbled up everybody else. So, Freedom is kind of a normal thing. Buenos Aires. Um, you know, that actually is a good idea. That's a pretty good amount of money back. And let's go ahead and just bang out one more. Let's do one more and then we'll trade it. To, we'll send it to Panama. I know that I've been kind of uh, neglecting Panama. The only reason why you guys wanted me to send uh, to grab Panama was because it, it's an excellent point of trade. And I've got to upgrade these guys immediately. Definitely. So let's upgrade these guys. I've got a fourth one. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, well, he'll get, he'll get there. And uh, anything else? No, I'm trying to in enact the International Games, which is... Uh, because, honestly, at this point, there's nothing else for me to vote for. And then banning of Pepper. That is going to affect Indonesia and anybody else that might be trading with Indonesia. So somebody doesn't like Indonesia. Actually, you know what? Indonesia's doing really well. Especially for this size map, you know, on the larger Earth map, they've got, you know, uh, bigger islands out this way. But uh, I gotta give them credit. It's the best Indonesia I've seen in this kind of large Earth map from the yet not another Earth map, pa uh, map pack. So that's pretty nice. We're going down in happiness a little bit, and I'm assuming because we're still growing, which is good. Uh, a lot of people want me, to, I know I want to buy a, uh, there's still a few buildings that I have to buy throughout the Empire. So like in Amsterdam, we should probably buy a hospital. And I believe there might be either a factory or a research lab scattered throughout the Empire that I still need to buy for... Actually, a research lab in Geneva, if I can remember off the top of my head, which we can build right now. Um, I think it might be more important that we buy a research lab here than the hospital in Amsterdam. I mean, I'm just trying to get Amsterdam to a good population because it's good to have. But let's go and buy them because they're never going to finish it. Your, your production is too low, 24 production. So I'll buy that for you. And then the hospital is about the same price, about 1000 right? Hospital, yeah, about a thousand. So, we'll get there eventually for Amsterdam. Unless they want to build it themselves, they can always do that. They can stop being lazy, <laughs> and they can build it them th themselves. Uh, do we want more culture? I wouldn't mind. Um, these one free great musician, which would be useful. But I think most of the world's going to be choosing freedom anyways. So, uh, rushing tourism at this point, I think, would be kind of a waste of time. Crystal Redentor, yeah, that's that's always nice, but. Um. I think the more wonders will, wonders don't offer us delegates in the World Congress. Uh, natural wonders do, I believe, which we don't have access to, I don't think. It's natural wonders, right? I could be smoking crack. Everyone is probably going to make fun of me. It's like, Drew, you've been playing this game for years and you don't remember. I, I get that comment almost every day. You've been playing this game for years, Drew, and you don't remember some basic mechanics. I know. I You don't understand. Like, so, I'm so focused sometimes in certain games that... Like, I'll re-watch some videos and be like, why didn't I remember that? Like, I knew the thing that I was asking, but because I'm playing it right now, I was just confused. Okay, let's go with the Broadcast Tower because I'd like some extra culture. Uh, I can I could realize the Crystal Redentor would be nice, but I don't want to risk 12 turns and not getting it. Hate that. Uh, okay, so we'll send this to Panama. Like I said, we should definitely utilize Panama a little bit more. Uh, do I want to upgrade? Let's, let's wait. Let's get the hospital first before I start upgrading. And then you guys are going to come here. All right, promote a unit. I'll give you double shock. Do we see anything else? Influence has fallen. Budapest gave us a city or a unit. Uh, I can't stage any coups. I did check over the break. Oh, Kuala Lumpur is getting closer, though. The 39% chance of a coup. So that's pretty good. Uh, no, I'm going to hold on to it. Like I said, we're going to buy a hospital in Amsterdam. That's the goal here. So they're going to finish an opera, uh, an opera house. 
in Amsterdam. So I need to keep in mind what they start to produ uh, produce next. And you know what? Sweden is going to hold on to Utrecht, I think. They, I think they, they probably had a navy in the Baltic Sea, and they rushed them out over there. I don't know if those ship of the lines just retreated. They might have pieced out. I might have totally missed that diplomatic notification, which happens all the time. But um, that actually is probably more likely. Either way, that's a very good thing for us because we didn't want to see Elizabeth grab even more land than she had before. So that's good. Uh, Austria and Korea. So everyone's going after Austria right now. And we have the uh, the mines losing the Chitnitsa by to the Inca. And battleships. All right, very nice. So I'd like, like I said, city states are good. I'm already trading with Budapest. I guess we could just go to Hong Kong just for the money, and we're going to get that trade route back uh, very soon anyways, as soon as I annex that, that city state. So we might as well, just in case we change our minds. We might change our mind at the last second. I seriously doubt it. I want something in East Asia. It will be a good a good find. All right, so, and these railroads are finishing up right now. So we'll have a few railroads finished in a few turns. Uh, what was I going before? Let's just go for gold here. Yeah, let's go to Rio de Janeiro. 35 gold. I like it. Not the safest route, but I don't think war is something that we need to be f too threatened with. Uh, I mean, with England, yes. But that's why I don't have all my trade routes in Amsterdam. Which I do fear. I don't know. Maybe we should be upgrade. I don't know. This is a little bit scary. Ethiopia has chosen freedom. That's good. Uh, can we do this instead? That's a lot of money, and I am saving f up for a hospital, but I... Yeah. You know, no. You know what? No. No, I, I could I could offer him my extra resource of salt. It's not like I was doing anything with that salt anyways, but uh, I'd rather I'd rather not. I, I think that... I think that research agreements are a bad idea. I know that I've flipped back and forth with that in this campaign. I've flipped back and forth where it's like, yeah, we'll do research agreements, and then I'm like, oh, no, we won't do research agreements to the Zulu. Please tell me Spain had something in Africa. And, and don't tell me a European city fa f has fallen. Doesn't look like a European city has fallen. Uh, I guess. You've not chosen freedom yet. I'm just going to... I'll take a risk. Barcelona's actually about to... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, uh, so Egypt is starting to invade. We're seeing a lot of out... Oh, yes, it is. I told... I don't know why. I just ba bypassed it. Like, how did I... How did I pass by that? So, Iberia is being surrounded. We've got Egypt, the Zulu, and uh, Washington from America all invading Iberia. Hopefully I can keep up the, Europe, uh, the European continent. Hopefully I can keep us safe. Where were you going before? Were you the Budapest trade route? Yes, you were. Uh, we should probably continue that because I, that's like solidifying my, my role in kind of the, the Budapest influence like I don't think anyone's gonna be able to catch me uh, we've got three city-state allies if I am correct uh, yes three city-state allies right now very close to taking away the Armenian city-state ally which is something I need to do too maybe I shouldn't buy the hospital maybe I should just be buying city-states I know a lot of people have been suggesting that or just looking at the missions in general like Jerusalem could easily get a oh no we can't because they're on the other side of the uh, of the Suez Canal Anyways, guys, we'll figure it out in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.